Just a quick little video. I did some videos previously on this thing, the Adventist R6581T. This is an half-digit multimeter. I did some repairs on this thing before, and it's all working fine. I had issues with the display mainly, and it was really dim and that sort of stuff, and I got it a lot better. And it's been okay ever since then. I like to just power the cycle these things once in a while. I don't know if these things running all the time. I'm kind of supposed to with these sort of meters, but I don't need to use this thing all the time or very often at all. So I only power it up occasionally. And I like to power cycle these occasionally, you know, once every few weeks or so, once a month. I'll just power it up, just make sure it's, you know, worked a little bit so it keeps it on top of things that the capacitors getting a bit of a charge and that sort of stuff. I powered it up this evening and I pushed the power button and the display came up like normal and then it faded out and just went dim. And now... When I push the button, there's nothing there. There's no display. Everything else still working. Here, relays clicking and doing all the other, you know, other things it does. But there's just no display. That's interesting. So just down here, behind this flex, which goes to the display panel, this is also the digital board down here. There's two fuses here. So let me just check those out. Continue tester. So we'll check this fuse here first. That's good. We'll check this one here. That one is dead. 315 milliamp fuse. I think that's the one that's going to the display. I think that fuse blew when I turned it on. And there we go, the display's working again. Replace that fuse. I put in a 250 milliamp because that's the closest thing I've got. I've got a 250 or 500. I didn't want to go higher. So I've gone 250 and that's what's in there now. I was hoping to be able to put in a holder. I couldn't actually get to both ends of it to solder it in, so I've had to leave that one out for now. Maybe next time if I ever take the board out or something like that, I'll put a holder in instead so you can just pop the fuse out and replace it. But for now, I've sold it straight on like the original one. And as you can see, the display is working okay. It is rather dim, but that's an issue with this particular display. It's a dim display, which is a bit of a problem. It's working at least, so I'm happy with that. I'm putting it back together again. So that fuse which I replaced, which is F1, that has a 11 volt power supply running through it. 11 volts AC directly from the transformer. And that is what drives the actual display itself for the VFD. So that's why that is blown. For some reason the VFD was not happy. I don't know, maybe it's an inrush current thing. That's what runs through there. It's 11 volt supply through F1, which does the VFD. So if your VFD ever doesn't work, replace F1, or at least check it. Check out the other videos down below for the repairs are done. Maybe the video series on this thing. And subscribe link over here, and Patreon support link over there if you want to help me to buy test gear. Like this. Maybe better stuff. My stuff that doesn't break. As much. Maybe. Bye.